halt. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Dragons I can handle. But this talk of dragons, world gone mad, I say. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Greymane or Battleborn? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or Battleborn? New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. The difference is, the Greymanes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Greymane or Battleborn? Then you're either a Stormcloak sympathizer or a fool. Either way, you're no friend of mine. Long live the Empire. Welcome to War Maidens. Now you, my girl, have definitely come to the right place. That'll be the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgruf's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. Adrian, at her forge, just outside. Place is named after her. War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? Good doing business with you. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry. If they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Stay sharp. Leave now, or suffer dire consequences. Got some good pieces. I help my father in more ways than people realize.
Ah, hello, my Nord friend. In the market for some hunting supplies? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Anorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my, well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Try Holder. The innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach, too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Thank you very much for your business. Still here. What do you want me to carry? Lead on. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Staying out of trouble, Kinsman. What do you need?
Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? I've got something for that. Of a sort. I don't have formal training in the restoration school, but something just as good. Within these walls, I have all that I need to brew a potion for nearly any ailment. If I had a septum for every case of rock joint or whitbane I've cured since I opened this shop, I'd be a rich woman indeed. Why? Because I'm a proud citizen of the Empire? Because the Stormcloaks only want Nords in Skyrim? The Stormcloaks can rot in oblivion for all I care. I've lived in this city for 20 years. 20! Come back anytime if you need a remedy. You brewed a truly vile poison there. I pity the beast that tastes that. Rather pale. Could be attacked. Lydia, it's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. I have several elixirs for sale. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Lady, could you spare a coin? There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red. Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind spirit. heart. And the it's, and it's what Brennan said I should do. He's the only one that's been nice to me since... since Mama. But then he went since she died. My aunt and uncle took over our farm and threw me out. Said I wasn't good for anything. 
I wound up here, but I, I don't know what to do. I miss her so much. So then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more. When I enjoy his ugly this red head around on the floor. Sadia, wake up, dear. Yes, mom. What can I get you? You want a drink? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Now, please, no more questions. Hungry, tired, well met, or just plain thirsty? Aye, that I do. Half all my life. We Battleborns have been here since the beginning, along with the Grey Manes. Our family's been close as kin for generations, but Ulfric Stormcloak's uprising has divided us. Now, seems we can scarce look at each other without coming to blows. Petty and foolish, that. They are saying dragons have returned to Skyrim. Now that there, that's a real problem. Ain't sure if they're taking on new members, but you should talk to the companions. They're over in their hall, your basker. If by work, you mean testing your steel in bloody battle. <laughs> ah, the most important question of all, that one. You'll want the bannered mare. See old Hulda, she'll keep you swimming in mead. But mind the bard, Mikael. Ponzi little milk drinker, that one. Ah, man gives bards a bad name. We Nords have a long history as warrior poets. I am proud to count myself among them. But Mikael, he sings only for gold and the affections of wenches. He dishonors our traditions. May your sword be sharp and your tongue sharper. Yes. Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Magic is for the weak. Elves, I mean. They keep to that college in Winterhold. They know their place. Of course, there is Farangar. He might be the Jarl's wizard, but at least he's a Nord. <laughs> I should have guessed as much. Your kind sticks to that college in Winterhold, as well they should. You'd never think to learn from a Nord like the Jarl's wizard. I assume you saw the Gildergreen? Big tree, all burnt up, in the middle of the wind district? It's part of the Temple of Kinareth. People want Tanika to do something about it, but I don't know what they expect. People say there is someone in Riften that can change your face, make you look completely different. Do you believe that? The companions in Jorvasku? They're recruiting new members, from what I hear. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Are you joking? You just rented a room from me. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Yes. Let me know if there's anything else you need.
pity, lady, and spare me a few sentiments. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Well, there's a whole college up in Solitude where they teach the arts. Song, lute playing, poetry. I studied there myself. Had to leave over a misunderstanding with a headmistress. Well, more a misunderstanding with her husband. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. We drink to our youth. Think you can go blade to blade gone. with me? You'd be dead in six seconds. Is just about the heat done. of the battle is the fire that forges the strongest blades. The it's an old Nord proverb. That and a true Nord never misses a chance to test her worth. You've been talking to those companions? Down Too hot-headed, they cried. The killer Weak, pathetic kings. cowards. The, the lot of them. Of your death we will drink and it wasn't my sing. fault. I told them over and the over that it was an Skyrim accident. They wanted me to prove my lives. worth. So Something they threw me up against a young whelp of a lad, hardly old enough to grow his first chin hairs. I guess they thought a woman wasn't strong enough to hurt him. I didn't mean for him to die. Why would I want that? I just... That I just lost control. Good. Chat time's over. The security in Whiterun is terrible. Shameful is what it is. If it's work you're looking for, Hulda's the one to talk to. Bits and baubles for sale. All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. <laughs> I can tell you're new around here asking a question like that. My husband, Eorland, tends the Skyforge up at Yorvaskar. The Companion's Mead Hall. Oh, there's no finer smith in the Nine Halls. You should ask him about his work. It's the only subject that'll get him talking. Well... That and maybe those stuck-up, dung-sniffing battle-borns. Don't even get me started on that lot. Huh, they put on airs like there's something special. Oh, sure, they've got money, but they ain't got a shred of honor between them. Grey Mane. Huh, now that's a name fills you with pride. We've got boots in white rum. We've got history. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. You take care Still of yourself warm now. From the oven. Bits and baubles for sale. 
All crafted by the best blacksmith in Skyrim. Shiny trinkets for your good lady. All crafted by the great Aorlan, Grey Mane himself. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. But that bard is the worst. You've got no idea. Half the men in Whiterun have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. Right now, all that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the Bannered Mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Don't take this the wrong way, but you look a little sickly. Like fruit and fresh vegetables for sale. About the same as everyone else? They're the catfolk of elsewhere. Great warriors, good traders. Way I hear it, elsewhere ain't nothing like Skyrim. It's got tropical forests and dusty badlands. It sounds awful. Before my Ma and Da passed, I told them that one day, I'd become the best trader in Skyrim. I met one of the caravan leaders, Madron. He said he'd help me get started if I could bring him a mammoth's tusk. Easier said than done. You'd do that? If you find one, I could teach you a thing or two about trading. Help you get a fair bargain in the future? Yeah, these Khajiit make a living traveling the roads and selling their wares. It's got to be tough. Skyrim's a hard enough land when you've got a roof over your head. Worst thing is, nobody wants them in the cities. Nobody trusts them. Reputation, mostly. A lot of Khajiit turn to smuggling and thievery to get by. A few bad apples spoil the bunch. You know how it is. Farewell. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your good deed for the day. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Well met, Kinsman. May your sword be sharp, and your tongue sharper. by the great Aorland, Grey Mane himself. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Ah, so you're an alchemist then.
Come back any time if you need a remedy. You'll find tonics, salves, poultices, and potions on my shelves. Browse to your heart's content. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Until next time. And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side and he chose poorly. And now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborns, where is he? Where are you holding my forearms? Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. Fresh baked loaves. It's still warm from the oven. All I can think about is my son, my Thorold. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. I just, I just know it. I could feel it in my heart. You have to believe me. Please visit me at my home. I can tell you the whole story. I'm a bard by trade. Perhaps you've heard of me. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. She just doesn't know it yet. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one Nord lass. On my honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever again. It's the leaving that's hardest, I know. You might be sick. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. I earn my way to the top. I own Chilfero Farm, you see. 
very successful business, obviously. It's not easy being a woman in Skyrim, I know. But stay strong, and men will come to respect you, and maybe even fear you. I work I with the my days mother. when the Grey Manes and Battlegrounds got along. It's fun Ever most since days. the war started, we've been at each other's throats. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. So you're willing to starve? Cause trouble in Whiterun, and I'll haul you into the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. I just need to hire one, maybe two good men. You won't starve. I'll put it plainly. You can claim your sword, or you can keep your wife. If you set foot outside that gate, I won't be here when you return. I just want to go home and read. Sapir! Wait, I... You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. <laughs> no, friend. That, I'm not. But I get along with your kind well enough. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. Find that sword. Please, bring it to me. Someone stole your sweet rule. Stay safe, I hope. And we, not the elves or their ponies, will rule Skyrim forever! Talos the mighty, Talos the unerring, Talos the unassailable, to you we give praise! And deserve our praise, you do! For we are one! Ere you ascended, and the eight became nine, you walked among us, great Talos, not as God, but as man! But you were once man, I, and as man, you said, let me show you the power of Talos' storm crown, born of the north, where my bread is long winter. I breathe now in royalty and reshape this land which is mine. I do this for you, Red Legions, for I love you. I love, love, even as man, great Talos cherished us, for he saw in us, in each of us, the future of Skyrim! The future of Tamriel! And there it is, friends! The ugly truth. We are the children of man. Talos is the true god of man. Ascended from flesh to rule the realm of spirit. The very idea 
is inconceivable to our elven overlords. Sharing the heavens. With man? Ha! They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. Today, they take away your faith. But what of tomorrow? What then? Do the elves take your homes? Your businesses? Your children? Your very lives? And what does the Empire do? You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice. And with it, he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordate. Well, I call it blasphemy. A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. <laughs> let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally. And I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. So ride. Now rise up, children of the Empire. Rise up, Stormcloaks! Embrace the word of mighty Talos! He who is both man and divine! Learned about you and your... Looking to do some hunting, eh? Avoid Brittle Shin Pass. It's southeast of here. What's the meaning of this interruption? 
Jarl Balgraf is not receiving good. Is this then? Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then. The Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. But it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? I should have guessed Ulfric would be mixed up in this. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If the Jarl of dragon is lurking in the mountains. That is a provocation. He'll assume we're oh. preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done Whiterun a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps? Come, let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I serve Jarl Balgruf as steward. <coughs> Faringar, I think I've found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill her in with all the details. So the Jarl thinks you can be of use to me? Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. You are eager to begin your adventure. Excellent. The sooner begun, the sooner done, eh? I, uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. An old tomb built by the ancient Nords, perhaps dating back to the Dragon War itself. Ah, maybe you just want to know how to get there. It's near Riverwood, a miserable little village a few miles south of here. I'm sure some of the locals can point you in the right direction once you get there. Well, must preserve some professional secrets, mustn't we? I have my sources. Reliable sources. Ah, student of the craft. You'll need to start by learning an enchantment. Take an enchanted weapon or piece of armor, then use the arcane enchanter to learn its secrets. The item is destroyed in the process, so be wary. Once you know an enchantment, you'll need a filled soul gem and something to enchant. You'll use the arcane enchanter for that, too. Of course, I have everything you need for sale if you have the coin. I'm not surprised you've never heard of it. Even I used to think it was just a myth. But not anymore. The Dragon War was a real event, although only the barest glimmer of the actual events has come down to us. Far back in the mythic era, 
The dragons were worshipped as gods in Skyrim. Many of the monumental ruins that still dot the landscape were in fact built as temples to the dragons. The details are lost, but at some point, the Nords rebelled. After a long and terrible war, the Nords overthrew their dragon overlords. Oh no, many were killed, of course, but many survived into historical times. Why, this very palace was built by one of Balgruf's ancestors to hold a captive dragon. Hence its name, Dragon's Reach. I believe I am, yes. Technically speaking, of course. The city is also home to a priest, priestess, an alchemist, and I'm sure others who practice. Ah, that reminds me. Speaking of alchemists, I have some frost salts for Arcadia. She asked me to obtain them for one of her potions. Would you be so kind as to deliver the frost salts for me? I'm sure Arcadia will provide some form of recompense. Good. You're clearly better suited than I am to carry out such a menial task. A prospective student, are you? Well, I'm afraid I'm not much good at teaching. You should try your luck at the College of Winterhold. I'll put it simply, so you'll understand. I advise the Jarl in matters of magic. If the Hold is faced with any threats or mysteries of a magical nature, I am called upon to explain things and suggest a course of action. Hopefully that answer will satisfy you. Good day. This is a priority now. Anything we can use to fight this dragon, or dragons, we need it quickly, before it's too late. Of course. Oh, I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. I'm sure she will prove most useful. Succeed at this, and you'll be rewarded. White Run will be in your debt. What are you still doing here? The Jarl said retrieving that stone tablet is a priority, remember? Sadly, no. My work affords me few opportunities for such an adventure. Perhaps some hero will bring one to Dragon's Reach, like old Olaf one I once did. What a fascinating conversation that would be. If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taking the fight to the Stormcloaks. I'm not a man. I'm a weapon in human form. Just unsheath me and point me at the enemy. The Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps I can assist you. Ah, splendid. Our fine city has a proud history. And I'm happy to share what I know. The history of Whiterun begins with your Vasker, the Hall of the Companions. For a long time, it was the only building on the mountain. As time passed, a thriving community sprang up around your Vasker, as was common with Mead Halls. Today, Whiterun is the jewel of Skyrim. I can say without boast that it is the greatest city in all the holds. That is an old tale but well known to those of us who serve in the Keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex, and so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Well, there are three of them, arranged in three tiers, as you may have noticed. 
The Plains District is so named because it's the closest of the three to the plains that surround the city. The Inn and Marketplace are found there. Most of the city's residents live in the Wind District, which is the middle of the three. Dragon's Reach occupies the highest, which we call the Cloud District. From here, the Jarl can see all that goes on within his city. <laughs> Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of Whiterun. No doubt General Tullius and his friends in the Empire will tell you that I owe them my loyalty. And perhaps I do. Ulfric Stormcloak would say that I owe my allegiance to the Nord people as they fight for Skyrim's independence. Perhaps this is also true. The day might come when I am forced to draw my sword for one side or the other. But that day has not come yet. No doubt he thought it was the only way to make his point. And also because he knew he could. With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. I should bash your face in after all you've done. Damn those Grey Manes to oblivion. They want to back the Storm Cloaks, they'll get what's coming to them. More bad blood between the houses. Fralia is convinced our family is somehow at fault for the loss of their son. There's no reasoning with these people anymore. Long live the Empire. Trumpler? 